Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Le Plata, where we are starting to colonize, and now that I have a... Still not a decent amount of army, like, I swear we don't have... Oh wow, most of my factories collapsed. So we opened a lot of them. Yeah, that's what happened, I knew it. Okay, anyways, we're apparently, like, going into debt, so I'm just going to get us quickly out of debt. Tax our way out of this for a second. Oh, my nose is not causing our people to become any more richer. But we need to first get rid of all this stupid debt that we got. There we go. And now we're going to try to increase this to about 75. 75 taxes all around. Can we manage that? Yes, we can. So, we could probably get to 65 then. 65 on everyone. 65. Uh, yeah, it seems like we could probably go to 65. And... 65 okay a little bit less tariffs because i just want one percent tariffs so i can kill off all the bad factories and there we go so anyways last episode people we officially conquered a couple regions uh we're also going to conduct a consensus and yeah it was you know pretty interesting we conquered a little bit we have a little bit of a different culture now in us i mean now that we have this we now have yokotab as one of our biggest cultures we also have a big population now and we have communism basically spreading throughout our entire country which is awesome and i'm gonna make a lot of money provinces but underneath our control yay i'm going to make a lot of money and once i once i feel like i'm ready i'm going to decrease it all again and we're gonna go and do stuff because that's what we do as the plata and actually i'm thinking Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. How did... America... Gosh dang it, stop messing with my stuff. This is all my stuff. You get up there, I get down here. Okay. Okay, Peru is definitely going to be an annoyance. But the way I think I'm going to get Peru is just by um, going through Brazil and then, like, going to um, Peru. What I'm basically going to do is I'm still going to get the uh, Make Puppet button. But what I'm not going to do is I'm going to wait until, like, it's basically done. Basically add the puppet button. This is this is how I'm going to do it. This is Okay, I think I, think I know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to send my both my armies ready to go attack, you know, both Brazil and everyone else at their good time. By the way, how much does this army survive? Ooh. Okay. Build a different army. Let's see. Um. How much of it was still there? Let's see. They have... One of everything. <laughs> wow. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, and then wait, no, no. One. And then I think that's gonna be enough for now. Because we just need to build a new army. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're basically going to attack Brazil. Take our last little bit of of land that we need from them. So we have a uh, vastly more land that we can use to go over here and then I'm going to add once I completely occupy all of Peru then I'm gonna add the war goal of a puppetry and quickly quickly do it before the United States even realizes what happens you know do it like in one turn get them underneath my my coat of arms and yeah we're gonna see if this all works out I'm also going to be rebuilding my factories this episode so be prepared for that also, tariffing, 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 not very, actually I shouldn't be tariffing, what am I doing? Uh, let's see, 1%, 2%, yeah, it seems like our economy is a little bit fragile right now, because I'm supporting a lot of stupid factories. That's the thing, is that I know I'm supporting a lot of stupid factories because of the stupidity of my market, but I, I just have no other choice, because it's kind of the market I'm in right now. Let's see, um, you guys are completely at peace, which is good, so whenever that event comes where I can annex these guys peacefully, it's going to be nice. Alright, and once I get to 100k, I'm going to start rebuilding my factories. Um, first off, uh, first off, let's see, who has the first, most factories right now? Jule, uh, okay. Let's just go by dates, because I already know where, oh my goodness. Uh, San Paulo, 
San Paolo. Alright, um, let's use. Do we still need to be encouraging communism? Uh, yes, because we aren't quite good enough yet. But let's see. In my first factory, Burl Rios. Let's see, where's Burl Rios? Wait, where's Burl Areas? Okay. No, that factory doesn't work there. Okay. Um. Okay, so Burl Rios. Let's see, Burl Rios would be really good. I was going to make this last episode, but going to be really good at creating not a bakery, not a fishing, not stables, not rum, not guns, not fruit. What is it? It actually, well, it actually would be good about creating that. A boot factory? Or do we have any steel? We already have a shoe factory here. Hmm. Let's see. That's a good thing we actually did build a shoe factory, but yeah, I'm basically gonna have to organize everything to the point where it all works out. There we go! A canned factory! That's all we needed in that region. Okay. Okay. And I'm basically gonna have to start organizing everything to start fitting the bill, because like, seriously, we should not have this much difficulty trying to figure out what factories work and what don't work. Like, let's start closing some of these factories that don't work in our country. I, I don't want to deal with them. If they don't work in my country, I'm not going to deal with them. But I'm going to start creating new factories and leave the dead ones dead. Because I think most of these regions can supply one region or one factory. Yeah, most of these can. So that means we don't longer have to care about them. So I'll probably do this very, very soon where I'm just going to build like massively. Like just off screen. Maybe I'll do it at the end of this episode or something. But yeah, it's time for us to get our factories in order. Like seriously, we should be like number one in terms of factory growth right about now, but we aren't. Because of stupid reasons. A boatload of bananas! Yeah! The banana boat song, everyone. Yay! Banana boat. Banana boat. Banana boat song. Yeah, the banana boat. Oh my goodness, wow. A lot of my most populated region has just become completely communist. I'm very happy of that. I am very, very happy of that. Also increase naval bases and increase our protection around this area. This is basically our area. This is our little tiny area of Africa that we claim. I mean, they're probably we probably could try to claim more areas, but um, we're just going to have to wait. We're just going to have to wait. So let's see, 126. All right. I could probably start, I could probably start like, Influencing my economy the way I like it. Like I hear, this would make sense. Actually, who has the most craftsmen right now out? You guys do. Alright, San Paulo. Okay, where's San Paulo? Alright, San Paulo. San Paulo. San Paulo. There it is. San Paulo, what do you guys produce? Coffee. Let me guess, I never built a coffee shop over here. Cigar, no. The cigar factory doesn't make any sense over here. You would need a coffee factory. Coffee is where, like, this would be really production heavily good. Okay. Cigar. Nah, no. Nah, winery, not that, not that, not regular clothes. I think we actually have enough to build regular clothes. Fertilizer, cement, lumberjack. Where is it? I'm not... I'm not going crazy, am I? Because I swear there was something called a a coffee factory in here. Hmm. By the way, what does a dye factory need? Coal. Okay, we do have some coal now, so we can start building some factories like that. Um. Cigar. Is that honestly nothing called a, uh... Am I, am I really... I swear I am not going crazy. Okay. Foreign investment. Ajite. Let's see. Wow, I can still foreignly invest in everything. Cool. Is it, really? It's nothing called a coffee factory. Okay. Well, this would still be... This area would still be good for, like, a can factory. So let's build a can factory there. Um, Pagona... Pagona Sepen. And then right over here, this is actually a pretty good setup. Except for the fact that uh, Le Pompa. 
Where's the pumper? The pumper. I know it's somewhere around here. There it is. Right here. The pumper has absolutely no... This would be good for like a bakery kind of place. Ah, oh, my goodness. Yeah, building up factories from from dead down when your economy is this like messed up is annoying as heck. But it's just what you have to do because otherwise... There it is, bakery. This would be good for like a bakery. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Bakery right there. That way you can fill up that jobs. Uh, rum distillery. I don't know how rum distillery is, is surviving so long in Sin Follow. Uh, let's see, we're building this right there. Should have a good enough. Okay, and then Pajol Sepitala. That's a really, really weird name. Uh, Pajol Sepitala. Let's see, what do you guys actually produce? Sheep. Mostly just a combination of sheep. So, let's see. You guys are probably be good for like a clothing factory, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Fabric? Maybe? So I'm thinking sheep would be good for like... Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Tropical lumber mill. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so... Let's see. Fishery cannery. There it is. Wool mill. Wool mill. There we go. Alright, yes, there we go. That's all just a little start. I don't want to spend all episode doing that. That's just a little start into actually getting our economy into order. And not just have random bits of everything here and there. Like, seriously. Although, I will... Uh, you know, I could actually collapse some of these small arm factories, because they don't make sense either way. I mean, seriously. I could... Some of these small... Like, right here, why... How does this make any sense? The small arms factory in Jule doesn't make any sense. It should be like right next to a a power grid of another type. Then we can like do more. It's annoying me. Let's just people. This is really honestly annoying me. Early is this early small arms factory? Yeah, we also don't want early small arms factories anymore because early small arms factories are bad. Now that we got the Kazbelag in Peru against Peru, when does it wear off? It wears off 1887 next year. Okay. Alright. So what we need to do. Is we need to have all of our armies over here. And what we're going to do. Is we're going to declare war on Brazil. And then once our armies declare war on Brazil. I'll call on all my friends. And we'll just basically siege up all Peru. Once Peru is all underneath our control. Quickly add that war goal of. You know. What we need. And then. And then, Peru becomes our ally, and then we can go back and gonna go kick the butt of Brazil, take our war goal, and then out. Yes. This sounds like a perfect plan. Although, we might end up at war with America. That's my only worry, is that my big buddy America might not come in on our side. But wait, if I was to call... Wait, wait. If I was to call him in before Brazil, like, if they're already at war with Brazil, and at war with Peru and everyone, then... And that means we can instantly, like you know, curve stomp them and not have them have to join. That's brilliant! I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, Le Pompa. Go right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just letting a lot of these factories crumble just so I can kind of start getting an idea of where I can start building up everything. Because we're basically, like I said, I'm basically going to go through a massive industrial age as soon as this is all done. Uh, yeah, Le Pompa doesn't really need an ammunition factory. Ah. Uh. Like, it's, some, it's good to spread out your factories, but it's sometimes, like I found out when I was playing my California game, sometimes good just to have built-up factories. Built-up factories, I think, are way more uh, cost-effective. Especially if you have a lot of people in one region, it's way more cost-effective. Okay, well, let's get our people into position, into our lovely position, so that they all kind of are ready to siege up Peru as quickly and as delicately as we can. And once all you guys are in here, we could just like go destroy Brazil. We're just gonna rip them apart. Wow, this is this is kind of becoming an interesting Africa to look at. Not exactly who I picture becoming the colonial powers. Some of these African states are still alive just because I haven't gotten around. None of the other European powers have gotten around to killing them, uh, which is good. Oh, shoot. did you guys go to war against anyone powerful? 
Did you guys go to war with anyone powerful? So Kanto versus Belgium? What? You Dutch stupids. I'm still I'm recording. Um you Dutch stupids. Why did you guys do that? I'm not letting you guys conquer my little state. This is my little state. You guys are all gonna die now. I don't care if I have to raise you guys all to anywhere. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna call another other buddy. Hey America, would you like to come in? Yeah, you would? Okay, go mess him up. Here, let's let's go teach let's go teach these Europeans how we Americans do it. Yeah. Americans. Let's see. We can sign a Geneva Convention. Wow, this is gonna kinda mess up my This is kinda good though, because that means I could actually declare a direct war on to um Peru. Because since we're allied with them, they really can't do much. So that would be good. I mean, that means we could basically just declare a direct war on these guys and it'd be nice. But let's just do it onto them when we're both all when everyone's everyone's in position. So I don't want to do it just yet. Let's see, also get some of our association stuff done. And I could probably mobilize in this war. I don't think I'm gonna be need to. And let's see, uh, Brazil only has like 1.77 million people. We have 4.56 million. We also can start encouraging something, so I'm gonna see. Uh start encouraging immigration here in the Paz. So we can start getting our immigration field back in. Okay. And let's see, everyone going to right here, right next to the war goal. The child's precious. Okay, and let's see, let's make sure that we're not dying over here. Okay. It seems like the Dutch did not send enough troops over here to try to fight me. So I'm just going to go siege up all their land. And I do know there is not much we really have to deal with in terms of powers. America should be able to just... They just need one big gigantic army over there and we basically win, but uh, The Dutch aren't going to be too much of a difficulty for us to defeat If they try oh the means of production everyone the means of production Yes The means of production everyone is very important to us as the plata Okay, we almost got everyone in position Let's get everyone in position and Background pluralism uh, all the splendor all of it all of it I say Okay, and then from right here. Okay, we have our armies kind of our armies are actually kind of weak right now I don't know how we're beating Netherlands then declare war acquire course say La Paz. Let's see likely very likely America joined in yes, okay, that's good. That means we have exactly who we want in uh, Chile you're in okay uh, Colombia, you guys can call in because you guys are being my vassal. You guys get to come in. Yeah, you guys are. You guys get to come in. All right, we're gonna quickly go siege up all of Peru, get them underneath my control, and then we'll start dealing with all this over here in this war effort. Eh, they're not really sending enough to really make me worry that I really have to fight. I really have to fight the Dutch. I mean, if we want to, we could probably steal a couple colonies from them. Um, is, is there actually anything I want from them? Well, uh, it looks like most of their land is mostly just stuff we already have at home, so not really. But yeah, if they try to do anything over there, I'm just going to defeat them because I'm more powerful. <laughs> over here in Peru land, we have yeah, we have a big bad America on our side, which is good. We have America doing many things for us, keeping us afloat, and yeah, this is this is like becoming just a natural. Uh, we pick on everyone else and they can't really do anything about it. Because <laughs> what I'm going to do next is I'm going to puppetize Peru. That way I have a good land access to all my land all the way upwards. Let's see, what do people want right now? Secret ballots. I can't really. Acceptable minimum wage. Probably can do acceptable minimum wage. Because everyone loves acceptable minimum wage. It gets everyone a little bit more happy and not many people are as poor anymore in my country. Uh, Wari is trying to be ripped out by somebody. Well, they're thinking about it. Let's say that. Okay. Uh, they're trying to do stuff. Okay, they finally landed some troops. Let's go deal with them. Yeah. It's a good. This is why. This is why you always keep one army in your colonial provinces. You never know when some ignorant 
ignorant like European will try to like take it from you. Yeah, I'm not. You guys don't get to do that. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. I think this is gonna be the end of today's episode, and it was a fun little start to our invasions of everything, as you guys can see. I'm starting to invade all this. Peru is gonna fall pretty quickly, and then we can start turning our sights to Brazil. However much they siege up, I really don't care because they're not going to get far enough for me to just not be able to just go swing around and just go conquer them. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.